Welcome back. It is now 720. House Democrats are planning to introduce an article of impeachment against President Trump today for, quote, incitement of insurrection for when his supporters breached the Capitol building last Wednesday. We're hearing from both sides of the aisle this morning, and we're beginning now with Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs. Good morning. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good morning, Lauren. Great to be here with you. So you have signed on in support of uh, presenting this article of impeachment. So does that mean you believe that the president uh, in his speech incited the riots and the violence that happened on the Capitol Wednesday? I do. I think that uh, both in questioning the outcome of the election that his own Department of Homeland Security said was one of the most secure elections the United States has ever had, and in his speech and tweets inciting the violence uh, he is responsible for the attempt to overthrow our democratically elected government because he didn't like the outcome of an election. And if that's not an impeachable offense, I don't know what the founding fathers meant by one. What impact do you think this could have moving forward as, you know, as a nation and trying to heal the deep divide that we've seen in this country? I mean, there are nine days left and the president is out of office. Is this really just an effort to prevent him from holding office in the future? Or is, is this a, a statement, a symbolic statement? I mean, some say that this impeachment might move beyond uh, uh, President-elect Joe Biden's first 100 days. Yeah, this president is leaving office on January 20th. That is for sure. I believe impeachment is important because I believe that we need to hold him and anyone who incited, encouraged, or enacted this violence accountable to the highest level. As you know, my background is in international conflict resolution in post-conflict countries. And I know from my experience that the only way you can move forward, the only way you can heal, is if you have accountability for the harms that have been caused. And so I don't believe we'll actually ever be able to heal and move forward if we don't hold this president accountable for his actions. So what do you say then to the, the seven GOP members who signed a letter sent to Speaker Pelosi basically saying that that this would cause an even greater divide, that it's unnecessary and inflammatory. The letter says the impeachment would undermine your priority, speaking to the speaker, of unifying Americans. You know, I, I disagree with them. I understand where they're coming from. Um, but in my experience working in these kinds of situations in countries around the world, we need to make sure we hold this president accountable, both uh, so that we can move forward and heal and so that something like this never happens again. If you look at countries around the world that have had coup attempts, which honestly is what this was, if you don't have very strong accountability the first time you have an attempt, you're much more likely to have future attempts. And that's not something I want for our country. It's not something I think any anyone wants for this country. What do you say to Trump supporters who are saying, look, the president was just trying to show that there are a number of people who have questions about the election. He wanted them to march to show support for him, but didn't anticipate that there would be violence. There are a number of legal channels he had to make sure that uh, his side of that argument was heard. Uh, every court, including the Supreme Court, declined his position. Um, and I think it'd be one thing if the protesters had stayed outside and stayed protesting, but it was clear that there was a riot and a mob and a coordinated effort to harm elected members of Congress and to overturn our democracy because he did not like the outcome of the election. So moving forward, what are the next steps? I mean, there are, there are nine days left in this presidency. There's a lot of work to do. How much Republican support do you have in this impeachment process? Well, today, House Democrats are introducing a resolution that calls on the vice president to enact the 25th Amendment and gives him uh, 24 hours to do so before we move forward with impeachment. Uh, we have over 200 co-sponsors for the article articles of impeachment. I'm confident that we will pass it through the House. I'm confident that there are members on the other side of the aisle who know that what the president did is wrong and will do the right thing when it comes down to it. All right. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Always appreciate your time here at KUSI. Of course.
Happy to. All right, well, coming up at 740, we're going to be talking to Congressman Daryl Issa about this impeachment of President Trump. Obviously, he has a different take, so we're getting both sides of this issue for you this morning.